Basically our eyes memorize faster What if it's super colorful, like rainbow colors But what if it's neutral, it's hard to memorize Hi girls and welcome back to my channel So in today's video we're gonna talk about neutral colors and how to style them I guess your first question is why am I wearing a yellow blazer it has a significance here and I'm gonna tell you about it later so I made the list with some uh, important points of how can you choose uh, the neutral colors that it really suits your skin tones I'm gonna start with the beginning explaining what neutral means neutral is basically a chromatic without color so beige, ivory, black, grey, white it seems like there are no colors but they have also tones and subtones so for example if you're taking beige it can be salmon, it can be bronze, a subtone of pink and so on on the other side white can be ivory, baby blue can be also a baby pink our eyes memorize faster what if it's super colorful, like for the example rainbow colors but whatever is fade, whatever is neutral, is hard to memorize we call them like this because of the fact they don't create emotions in neutrals category uh, we can include non-colors, black and white and their subtones and tones for beige we can include also brown and tones and subtones from both and tones and subtones from blue there are two categories of neutrals is warm neutrals and cold neutrals so I'm gonna insert in here a photo of uh, the difference between warm and cold neutrals so basically the cold neutrals are tones of subtones of uh, black and white the warm neutrals they are tones of subtones of brown so this has a close uh, relationship with whatever your skin subtone is if your skin subtone is a cold one but the best option for you when you're choosing neutral is uh, to choose something from the cold neutrals when I'm talking about a cold subtone of the skin I'm talking about the people that are having pink subtone on the other side if you're having a skin subtone that is uh, warm you need to choose tones and subtones that they have at the base yellow cream, camel, beige so this is basically the reason I'm wearing this yellow blazer I am one of the persons that I have a warm skin soup that's why everything that has beige, camel and brown and so on goes better with my skin than the black ones so I'm not saying that I'm excluding black at all but to be honest I prefer this beige, yellow, white, whatever the metallic colors are also considered neutral colors gold goes super well with uh, warm skin tones and then um, the silver one goes super well with um, a cold skin tone maybe we're asking why neutrals are so important in every wardrobe well there are some super important reasons that make them so irreplaceable so firstly is the fact that they are super easy to combine in every outfit cream, uh, taupe, camel, uh, black there are some neutrals that I'm 100% sure you have at least one of it and you're basically wearing it constantly why? it's just because it makes your life super easy when you're like building an outfit because sometimes maybe you're not in the mood of doing something wow maybe you're going to work maybe you just want to take a pair of trouser um, top and that's it they are saving you a lot of work a second reason why these uh, neutral colors items are super important in the wardrobe is the fact that for example you have um, an item that has a really interesting print and you have no idea how to wear that item finding a way of combining it in an outfit makes the situation a little bit harder so I'm gonna come with an example because it's the easiest way I can explain I bought this skirt it's so beautiful and I love the print it has these chains, it has a lot of uh, strong colors like blue and uh, this red it has also black and a cream over here so basically I'm thinking like if I need to do an outfit with this I could choose something from this uh, pattern I can choose this red, this blue or this black or whatever so the best way of like putting this one in an outfit is to choose maybe this ivory or maybe this black these two are neutral colors and it makes our life easier and you're making sure now that 
you don't look like a clown. The next reason, super important to have like neutral colors, clothes in your wardrobe, is the fact that you can wear it for a long, long time. I mean, they don't go out of the trend. Pencil trousers, always gonna be in trend. Just maybe it's from another brand where it's some like different stitches. But it's gonna be kind of the same thing if you're having it in a black, beige, whatever, neutral color. In my opinion, a big part of your wardrobe budget should be invested in classic clothes in neutral colors, which will help you to make better outfits and make sure that you're taking something with classic cuts and uh, also, why not, uh, really good fabrics. The quality of the fabric is really important if you want to wear that item over the years. Neutral colors goes with neutral colors also or with the rest of the colors. So basically you can combine neutrals with everything. For example, we have cream, we have beige, we have camel, we have uh, grey and these are some neutral colors that goes really well with everything. So even if you're starting a wardrobe or anything, for the beginning I'm advising you to invest in clothes that have neutral colors. This is the part that I absolutely love and I cannot wait to start it. So I'm gonna show you a few outfits of how to style items that are coming in neutral colors. You're gonna see how easy uh, you can do outfits in neutral colors even if it's everything the same color. I'm gonna use a lot of beige, camel, white because my uh, skin tone is warm. Enjoy watching! helps you a lot in styling an outfit that contains a item with a pattern with the print and so on I'm gonna show you how to do this also
done with token. I hope this video will help you choose wisely whatever neutrals items you want to buy. I also think it's gonna help you in building your wardrobe. I would really like to thank you for watching this video and um, if you like it I would really appreciate if you can give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you like what I'm doing and you want to see more of these videos please don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. If you want to receive notifications for every uploading that I'm doing please ring that bell near to the subscribe button. This would mean the world to me and see you next time.